Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody to the show. So we're in the middle of November and um, if you decided to do NaNoWriMo, uh, I wonder how you're doing with, with that right now. It's uh, It can be a slog. Uh, sometimes people don't actually start until, um, you know, about this time where they pick up momentum and uh, maybe by this time you've decided that, you know, the heck with this whole writing thing. I, I'm not going to do NaNoWriMo anymore. I give up. There's no way I'm going to reach the uh, uh, the, the 50,000 words. And, you know, th- those emotions are, are real and, and that consideration is real. But uh, I, I do want to encourage you if you're if you're um, uh, deciding to do that uh, this year that, you know, just keep going, do as much as you can. And you might come out of uh, this whole thing with a. Uh, a really great idea, or at least like a nugget uh, of an idea that you can expand upon uh, going forward. So apart from that, I wanted to talk about gatekeepers. And I'm not talking about like gatekeepers in terms of, you know, you have an idea for a script and you're trying to, you know, get it made and stuff like that. No, I'm, I'm actually talking about the other side uh, when you've made the thing and you put it up wherever you put it up, if it's Netflix or if it's, if it's Amazon or Apple, those companies are the gatekeepers, technically. And they're gatekeepers because when you're uh, the consumer to go, you know, buy whatever movie or TV show, like that digital file is still on their website. Like it's something that you don't necessarily own because you can't do much with it. If you can't get through, you know, if you can't log into their site or if, if that site decides that they want to make any kind of change to that uh, bit of content, and it, it's not a new thing. that This has, like, been going on for years. But when I uh, finally had it explained to me that, you know, just because you were going in this, this digital, uh, you know, progression toward, towards, like, you know, like, like getting rid of your DVDs, getting rid of your CDs, and, and being able to, to have everything online or have, uh, uh, like, have everything in a digital form. At first, I thought, this is great. I can get rid of my CDs. I can get rid of uh, my, my DVDs and, you know, heck, even my, like, like VHSs. I, I, I still have some of those. And I thought, this is great. I can gain so much more room like physical room uh, in in my place, and this is awesome. But then, when I uh, realized that if I want to watch a movie and I go on to Amazon and Amazon has had a movie, like this particular movie uh, for like Prime members... And the last time I checked for it, it was for Prime members. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go on there and I'm going to watch it. And then when I go on Amazon and I find the movie and suddenly they have taken it off the the, the Prime, um, you know, uh, I guess classification. You know, it's, it's no longer included in, in the Prime subscription. And that's happened like tons of times where I just... I'm really excited about watching a movie, and I remember seeing it uh, on Prime, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go watch it, and it's not available. And they're like, you can rent it, or you can buy it. And I'm like, no, I already paid to have access to, you know, all this content, but it keeps switching uh, classifications, and it's very frustrating. And... You know, it got to the point where I'm like, I might as well just buy the DVD 
so that whenever I feel like watching this particular movie, I can just pop it into a DVD player and I can watch it. I don't have to worry about any company tracking what, you know, that I'm watching it or anything or trying to recommend me something else to watch, you know, after I'm done. It's like, it's a very simple transaction. I put the DVD in the DVD player. I watch the movie. I take the DVD out of the DVD player. I put it back in the box. I put it back on the shelf. Done. (laughs) You know, nothing, there's nothing else to it. And it sounds a bit simplistic, but, you know, it it got to the point where there were some uh, movies or TV shows that I really just wanted to watch. And I could not find them anywhere. Or if I did, it was behind a paywall. It was behind a gatekeeping website. And I was like, you know, this is ridiculous. This is like, you know, I'm just tired of this. And so I I know that there are, uh, you know, some... Not groups, but, you know, there's people who still love physical media. There are people who still collect DVDs and and Blu-rays, and they'll still go out of their way to buy those kinds of things. And as much as it takes up physical space, it really kind of like, um, there's a peace of mind to it because you know that it's sitting there and you can have access to it anytime you want. And you don't have to worry about going to a website. You don't have to worry about, you know, like, like, like any of these changes that may have happened when you aren't looking. And I I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm, you know, kind of like being a, a, an old, like, like an old man about this, but, uh, you know, I just, I, 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 I've seen that, that there's a possibility that if there, there is, uh, a, something that you love that it could be changed by the people who own it and at least if you buy the physical copy of the thing that you love in its current uh form then at least you have a copy of of that form you you have it in in the way that you remember it the way that you love it and it's it, yeah you know it's not to say that um uh, Movies aren't changed from their theatrical runs to being printed on on DVD. There, there's been uh, plenty of cases where uh, the a movie was was in the theaters and then there was like some you know like rights issues or 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 something, and so when it came time to actually print the uh, uh, the DVDs, they had to make changes to the film before they could actually do that. And uh, like. Recently, there there's been a lot of um, rights issues in terms of music for uh, for for like a lot of movies, which is why you're not really seeing uh, some movies that that you would think would be out, you know, on on streaming or, or or being sold on DVD. Like they're just they're not out there because they're tied up in you know like the the music that was used, you know, the rights uh, lapsed or something, and so they're trying to work all that out in the background before it's able to um be released back to the public again so you know the there are issues on every level but in in terms of just giving the control over to uh a company that can potentially do something to um you know a movie that you love it's just worth it to to just buy the physical uh like like copy of it if you you know if you love the movie that much if you love the show that much you might as well shell out the money to just to to know you know to have it in your hand and know that like at any time you can watch it and you know the the thing about that is that now uh they do also uh provide like a a code for for a digital copy so in a way you're kind of like by buying a digital copy you're kind of getting the best of both worlds like you're still going to get the digital copy but you're also going to get the physical copy and sometimes um you you know for for a while they were offering the dvd the blu-ray and the digital file and you know it was like wow that's great you're giving me like three copies uh, of the same movie uh in different forms this is great so Anyway, I kind of wanted to, you know, just just talk about the fact that um, with 
things becoming a lot easier to to access and and with the you know the the whole like like uh, a digital world that that we've been living in for uh you know like 20 years or something it's it you know it's been a while but things have been moving really really fast and it's um yeah you know i i kind of you know what you know, kind of bought into the fact that, like, you know, yeah, the things are a lot easier, and I can just go on, you know, these sites, and I, I can watch like whatever I want, um, until there comes a day when I can't, or when I really want to watch that thing, and it's nowhere to be seen because, you know, some rights thing pops up, or because, you know, f- we're in a world where things get canceled, and so there's a possibility that. Um, you know, some movie has some, uh, has an issue and it's like, oh, we're, well, th- there was a, some backlash against this movie, so we got to take it off the site. And the, you know, that's happened recently with like, uh, like, like episodes of TV where they were just pulled, you know, for, uh, I mean, it, they were like legitimate reasons, but it seemed like a little bit, you know, like it, it was what, wasn't being asked, you know, uh, like nobody asked for this, but you know, the, the, the people who owned it were like, Oh, we, we should just take that off for now. And as disappointing, a, a, like, as it was to like, uh, to, to learn of these changes, it, you know, it also made me realize, Oh, I, I really should have had a physical copy of this thing, um, before this happened. And this is kind of proof of like, why, I should have a digital co- not digital. Why I should have a physical copy uh, of this content, and it's because like at any moment the owner of that content could say, you know what, I'm gonna change it all up. I'm gonna make it different. I'm going to, you know, put characters in or take characters out or make whatever changes, be it to fit like what's going on in the world like currently, which is just. Uh, really like like maddening thing to think about because like all of this stuff was created and is of its time and should be used as like a historical capsule of like well this is just how movies were back then and then but we learned from that we we learned to make make better choices we learned to um to to do things in a better way to have more like like representation to have be more inclusive um you know, it's like we learned, but is it worth going through the back catalog of everything to edit out every single instance of that that somebody might be offended of? Like, I, I, I don't. I, it just seems like insanity. Uh, but it's happening. It's it, it like little by little, and 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 there is some some backlash against it, which is you know good. Um, because like the, it is like, you know, like I said, these things are time capsules and, and, you know, if you don't like these things or if you see them say, okay, well, this was for a different generation that appreciated this and, but I don't, so I'm just not going to watch it. I'm, I'm not going to like, it's just not for me, which is fine. Like there are tons of things out there in the world that that, like, like movies and TV that are just not for me. And I, I understand that, but I'm not going to go out and try to, like, dismantle it because I don't like it or because I don't think it's for me. So, anyway, I'm, I'm getting on this long, like, rant that, um, you know, I, I hope is still in line with the whole idea of, you know, these, these gatekeepers having control over, uh, you know, the, the content that we purchase and, and, and um, you know, it's like how it's very it's more beneficial to have physical media in the long run than it is to like rely on a company to just not screw with, with, uh, you know, the things that we love. So that's all I got for today. I hope everybody has, uh, been safe, washing your hands, wearing the masks, social distancing, all that stuff. We will get through this. I don't know when, But we will get through this. Until then, talk to you on the next one. Also, if you haven't uh, done this already, 
Um, I have a Twitter account for the podcast. It's at title underscore Tim. And uh, I also have a Facebook uh, page as well. And you can subscribe to that. And I will put episodes up there and and any updates. Um, So, yeah. uh, Come on by. Say hi. And, uh, you know, yeah. Till the next one.